Hi, I'm Jacinta and today we're back on my spring farmcore island cornucopia and I'm going to be filling in some space down the left hand side of my island. So as you can see behind me here I have my wheat field that I built in a previous video and then I've got this big patch of empty land here which I want to fill in with a little orchard. It's a bit of a wedge shaped patch of land but hopefully we can get it working and then following down the side of the wheat field we have my peninsula that I'm gonna fill in and you can see I've put out a couple of items here I want to make a bit of a like wheat silo or like wheat packaging station <laughs> I'm really not sure what to call it but yeah that's what I'm thinking so yeah let's get started on the orchard so as you can see I started off with the pathing first and I'm using this beautiful like dirt path with little flowers on it I've used this a lot on my island I love it so much but yeah I thought I would put that down first before the trees because one they would just probably get in the way but two I wanted to kind of map out the shape of this area with the path you know making it nice and windy and yeah I just thought it'd be better to do this first and then plant the trees around it And I am extending this path right down to the wheat area. I want everything on my island to be nice and connected and like I want it to be easy to get around. I don't want people getting lost. <laughs> So after I had the path down I moved on to the trees and for this orchard I actually decided to only use apple and cherry trees. I just thought it would look better with just the red fruit. Sometimes I feel like all the fruit together, I don't know, it just looks a bit messy. They all kind of clash together. So yeah, my orchard is just an apple and cherry orchard and I actually also used some hardwood trees just to mix it up a little bit. As you can see here I just straight away ran out of fruit and had to steal them off this tree. I used to have lots of fruit in my inventory but I think I sold it to make some space and yeah that was not a great idea because I actually did need some. Once I had all the trees planted, I moved on to decorating this little beach area in front of the orchard. I decided to do a picnic spot because I wanted to use food items made from the fruits that are in the orchard. As you can see, I used this really pretty flowery blanket and then I also used a white one as well. I wanted to use two different designs because I love doing this like overlapping look. It just adds a little bit of extra dimension to your picnic spots. Oh my gosh, how cute is this apple sign? I love this custom design, it's so well done. As always, all the custom designs I use are written in the description box, so check that out if there's any in this video that you wanna use. And then I jumped over to the peninsula and I started laying down this brick custom design for underneath all the wheat area. Originally my plan for this area was I was going to turn it into a cafe selling items made from the orchard fruit but then I thought of the little wheat area instead and I actually liked that idea more because it just you know ties in together with the wheat field and sometimes I worry that my island is too like spring core rather than farm core like it's meant to be so yeah I thought this area would kind of help reset the balance like an orchard and a wheat processing area are quite farmy. I 
I was really unsure of what I wanted this area to look like and what items I wanted to use. I knew I wanted the silo at least so I put that down first and then I knew I wanted some sort of bench or table but I really didn't have anything suitable so I ended up having to use this turkey day one which I know I think it does work in the end but I mean it looks like a kitchen table so it's kind of a weird item to use but I don't know I think it works. I jumped onto the custom design portal as well and found this wheat design which I thought was perfect and I used it to customize the stacked bag items so it looks like we've got little sacks of wheat here ready to go don't know where they're going maybe the villagers eat them or maybe we ship them off from the peninsula not sure of the backstory but I just know this is someone's little wheat processing area I also found this other really cool custom design made for the umbrellas which looks like a little container of wheat with a scoop in it. This is so well done. Some of the umbrella designs are just amazing. Like I haven't used many of them but some of them are just really really well done and this one was absolutely perfect. Then I filled the rest of the area in with some more items, some flowers, some shrubs. I even planted a couple of the wheat crops. I thought that was a cute idea. And of course I had to drop some of the wheat onto the table as well. I love the look of the dropped wheat. It's such a cute little bundle. I just really love it. Oh, while I'm filling in these last gaps, I want to know who's been watching season four of Stranger Things. How good is it if you have? I'm so excited for those last two episodes to come out. It's been so good so far. Let me know in the comments who's your favorite character. Mine has got to be Steve. He's just so great. And that hair. <laughs> I decided I wanted to change up this path that was linking the wheat field to Patty and Alma's area because I wanted it to join up to the wheat area too. So I just extended the dark dirt path and then put some more custom designs over top of it. Then back to the orchard and picnic side, I threw down a couple of different cushions. I like to mix cushions up in areas like this. It just makes it look a bit more interesting when you use different types. And then I just had to use the party lights. I thought that was a really great backdrop to the picnic. I tried to stop myself using this item because I feel like I overused it at the start of this island. But now I'm coming to the end of this island and I feel like I have the space to use it a few more times. Here I jumped ahead a day so we can start getting those trees growing. I definitely want to stunt some but I didn't want them this short and we want the fruit to start growing. In the meantime I started filling in some gaps with flowers, weeds and shrubs. I want to make this area just like quite overgrown, really sunny, you know we want to keep that spring theme going. So yeah lots and lots of flowers throughout the orchard. filling in the picnic with the food items. I really wanted to make these really nice fruit pancakes but you needed one of every fruit and sadly I didn't have any pears. I don't know what happened to them all. So instead I had to make an apple pie, a cherry smoothie and some cherry jam. I think this turned out really cute still but I mean it's a bit of a random picnic isn't it? Like who just takes cherry jam to a picnic? <laughs> to keep the area around the beach picnic pretty simple I didn't want it too cluttered so I just used a few different weeds a couple of custom designs and I ended up planting some flowers as well
this stage I was almost done. I'd planted a whole lot of weeds to kind of fill out the area and then I decided to go through and fill in the last few gaps with some nice flowery custom designs. Well at this point everything's all done except growing the trees a bit taller so I'm going to jump ahead a couple of days and then show you the finished area. Okay welcome back, come check out the new area. I think this picnic spot is super cute, the orchard is a really pretty backdrop. I like that I stuck to just the red fruits because they just go well together like I said they don't clash like all the different fruit colours. I love how this custom design path just weaves through the trees really nicely and I do realise now watching this back I forgot to grow my white cosmos in but that's okay as you can see up here this is what the orchard looks like from above I think it looks really cute from the land bridge and then heading down past the wheat field and we have the little wheat silo-y packaging area that I still don't know what to call it but here it is I'm actually really pleased that the idea for this wheat area popped into my head because I love how it turned out and I really like having this off to the side from the wheat field it all just matches perfectly well that brings us to the end of this video I actually spent quite a while building this area I thought I was going to do a video of like filler areas and decorate a whole lot of my island but I spent so long on this that it ended up being its own dedicated video but I hope you enjoyed thanks for watching bye Bye.